Good morning. We are in the middle of a nice heat wave currently. It is 9, I think about 9.20. And I'm going to work on doing a little bit of weeding today before it gets hot. Last night it was a very sweltering night. I don't think it went much below 76, 77 outside with high humidity levels. So it is still really, really hot today. And Art has it on his to-do list to do some weeding. And while it's still shady over here, I am gonna go ahead and weed this area. And we have an escapee this morning. You, you're an escapee. How did you get out of the coop? Huh? How did you get out of the coop, Miss Chicken? Would you like to go back in? Have you had enough of free roaming? All right. From the looks of it, it looks like she was out all night. I don't know how that happened. We always put the chickens away. Come on, camera. There we go. We put the chickens away every single day. But obviously, one <laughs> somehow managed to get out. So, all right, I'm gonna get moving here before it starts sweltering, really sweltering. Art and I worked in here yesterday for quite a while. Obviously, the dill has gone out of control completely. So, this was a zucchini plant, except it didn't survive. So, this is our pathway right now. We have beans here, which finally are coming after the woodchuck. And then over here, we have our um, broccoli here. These big things are broccoli. And along the base are lettuces. And then over here, we have cauliflower. We just have a few cauliflower plants. The beets are doing fabulous. These are all beets. We have more lettuce. A few kale plants. Now this was all weeds. They had gotten out of control and so that's why the kale looks so yucky. And then we have some late crop zucchinis. I know those look really tiny because they just came up. And then we have a bigger plant here that's finally starting to go. And a tomato. Oh yeah and a volunteer tomato which is no biggie. The garlic we didn't finish weeding. I did a lot of that yesterday but we didn't finish that. And then on the other side of the garden, well, just don't look. It's it's weedy, it's icky. Um, we did have something funny though. Our pole beans, we put our first crop of pole beans in here and some of them made it, as you can see, but not all of them. And then I had Art replant them and he grabbed the bush beans. So now we have bush beans along the bottom and pole beans up atop. And then we have our eggplants over here. And then some peas, some late blooming peas, but that's good. I don't mind. In fact, we're going to have to pick some. I see some of them hanging right here. What's that, sweetheart? Would you just leave it? Mommy has to weigh all the produce. We're going to see how much we get in the garden this year. And then over here, once these peas are done, we just planted our cucumbers again. Hopefully they will be done in time. Just leave them on, sweetheart. We'll pick them later. Okay? Then we'll weigh them. Write them down in our journal. Mommy. Oh, thank you. You have my keys. Why did you bring Mommy her keys? Because I did get her keys and go to Cap. Oh, you want me to go to Cap with John? Yeah, and not me. Oh, you want to go too? Okay, well, we have to start by weeding first, Lillian. Okay. Got to grab some buckets here. Here, Lydia, can I give you a bucket, please? This is all done. We pulled out the weeds. We have three volunteer tomato plants. One, two, and there's a third one right there. Those are all volunteers, but we're just going to let them grow. Hello, would you like to say hello? <laughs> and the chickens are enjoying all the weeds. Look at them go. I did a lot of weeds with that. Thank you, Lydia. I kept putting them in the coop. Yes, well, they look quite happy. Well, that was a hot 30 minutes. It says, the thermostat here says in my kitchen, it is 80, come on, focus, 88 degrees. The high yesterday was 92, and the low was 74. Right now it's 88, and I believe the relative humidity is in the high 70s, low 80s. So 30, 45 minutes was enough for weeding for me. Are you plenty hot? Yeah, I'm hot. So now I'm going to sit down. Uh, this weekend was the big 31 National Convention. Um, I wasn't able to go. We actually toyed about going to it, but we weren't able to work it out. Daniel's not really that good of a traveler. So I'm not going, but I ended up um, being able to attend online. So I'm going to sit down and watch my conference. They have two sessions today. I'm going to watch that. 
and John has is going off to camp today so we're gonna finish up packing him and getting him ready to go Whew, I'm just sweating buckets okay I'll catch you guys later we've got John all packed he is just getting ready to get dropped off at camp and we pick him up in a week uh, he has his encampment graduation that I don't think we all will be attending uh, we have to get there really early it lasts a good portion of the day which just won't work with Daniel but um, we'll see what happens with that but he's going and um, this is a total new experience for our family he's all packed did you remember your bags you got your all your clothes and everything okay because I know you had them in the beast bus so I'm gonna send the camera with our Daniel is sleeping I'm going to send the camera with our and I'm sure he will show you guys John getting sent off goodbye John I'm in the vehicle and we're ready to go and John is there getting uh, well, getting further prepared and uh, let's see Mary and Peter wanted to come with us the other kids are either taking a nap or don't feel like going out in the heat or whatever so anyway we're ready to go bye we're almost there John, get the strap and you have to this everything. Oh, get it. Wow, that's big. Do you like the airplane? It's big. Those are like the ones that fly over our house all the time. So John is ready to go in and see what happens. Contraband check. There he goes. We're leaving now. I'm not gonna see John anymore. Well, for a week. A, not, a hanger. hanger, a giant hanger. Yeah. Right what? there. Has to be a big airplane in there. Right. C-130, for, for a C-130, I bet. A couple of them. We probably fit two or three in there. So I might have to go in there and go in one of those airplanes. Now we've got to go out. Barbed wire. I wonder what they're going to do. I wonder what John's going to do while he's going. Here's the C-130. We all went swimming, but it's we're back and we've got quite the storm coming in. Let's see if I can show you guys the clouds. I had a better view up in my room. This is just growing super fast. Look at how fast it's going, Charity. Mm -hmm. And it's growing. And it's multiple layers. See this lower levels flying past the upper level. Yeah. Here comes the wind. This should certainly. Woo! It's cooling down to certainly help with cooling everything down. Wow, look at that wind. I'm going to 7.4. What are you? That's it? That's only my armpit. Woo. Look at Mom, Mom, Stop. Mom, you know what? We should probably move this. Peter, help me move the plant in. We don't want to lose those. So we've been talking about this tree and how it needs to come down. And every time we get a storm that rolls through, we go, oh, is this tree going to fall? So Art, do you think it's going to fall this time or no? Well, I hope not because... No, no. Well, we'd lose that wouldn't one be good. car or two cars. Yeah, we'd lose a car. Either the car or the porch. Or the porch. I have to say. We're going to take care of that very soon. Wouldn't yeah. it just be ironic if we lost the porch? Oh, that would be so sad. Can you imagine this and would be one more thing cars. we'd have to do? No, no. And oh. we lost both cars. Yeah, At least we So those really billowy clouds have started to pass by. Oh, Charity, nice. See if the camera. Nice picture. And we were just saying, I bet that would be a really pretty sunset tonight. Wow, we caught that one. Did you see that? 
Must be far away though, I don't hear it yet. Mommy, it's like playing. 10 seconds from the sky. Find the sky you know. Me too. I saw it. I saw white. Me too. Any more white? I'm looking for any swirling. They're swirling up there. Right there. There's definitely two layers of clouds art. There's yeah. a fast moving layer I on the bottom. I just saw another one. How many kids do you have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have some. Charity is trying to get a lightning picture. And it is 84 degrees. It's dropping. It's just starting to rain. Oh, we gotta go in. Super tight. I feel like our first really Woo! That's gonna be loud. Maybe. Yeah, we had one casualty so far. The tomato plant <laughs> fell over. No, just leave it, Art. No, I'll pick it up on. after it stops raining. Probably have to strap them to the deck. And you can see the rain just pouring off the, the gutter on the barn. It's raining good. Really good. We gotta get the fans going. Cool it off in here. As soon as it stops raining, we will. This storm is almost done and we just lost power, but we have another one coming in right behind it. So we'll see what happens with that one. That's right, by us. Power lines down, that's why we're out of electricity. <laughs> okay, that somebody got cold. And she's wearing a winter coat over her um, over her swimsuit. And someone else is wearing a raincoat over her swimsuit. Another call. We're getting lots of calls around here. Um, and this is dinner. Uh, pulled pork on buns. We have more. Pulled pork too. Yeah. I just made up the sandwiches for ease. And yes. If somebody gonna, else is hungry, I'll make more. That's right. We're going to take those outside and eat them there. Change of plans was too wet outside, so we're eating inside. And as you can see right there, except you probably cannot, we are also having watermelon. Oh, there we go. Peter turned on a flashlight for you guys. This is baby's first power outage. What do you think, Daniel? <laughs> he's, oh, he's flailing his arms around. Looks like he's having a good time. It's 8.30 and the first storm rolled through. We've got the second one coming through right now and we're still out of power. Inside. Inside. We have another storm coming Inside. in. We got a lot of cars driving by our house. So, I've got me. They're all creepy. Oh. <laughs> creepy daddy. Okay. Normal daddy. The power is still out. Do you want to see me out there? I'll turn on the light. There we go. Uh, the power is still out, and the second storm has dissipated. So, um, oh, be careful. And we're sitting out on the porch, and let's see, we have. Janelle, Daniel, and Charity, Peter, and Hi. Lydia. Yeah, there's, there's Peter and there's Lydia. We're out on the porch enjoying the weather and it's cooled off. It actually feels really good. And John is at Cap where he will be for another week. I do not know if John is going to be able to take videos or not, but he did take his camera and he will get some pictures. So we'll try to give you a slideshow of encampment. I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you tomorrow.